Casey, he's made some decisions on his own a lot of times because of me, and I forced him into a couple of decisions that I'm having difficulty walking back from. All he has is Monica and Tate. All he has is his family, and it's the only thing sort of keeping him tethered to the earth. Obviously, that propels him to try to figure out what his purpose is now. I don't need another cowboy, Casey. I know what you need. I think Casey's an need a criminal. He ultimately decides to go back and help his father protect that land so that his son can have a life and a future. Rip wants Casey to understand what he's up against. And I think what Casey hasn't really realized to this point is that if you're gonna come back and be a part of this family, there's gonna be a lot put on your shoulders. And so you better know what the hell is going on. You inflate the land prices, you run up the property tax, and you price people out. Casey has a really cold, eerie moment yeah. where he slaps the horse and Dan Jenkins starts to, you know, hang and he just says, let him hang, and he walks off. Let him hang. It's definitely a sign of things to come, which is that now the Dutton Ranch gang has gotten a little bit stronger. Don't touch him! Hey! Help! The only thing we have in common is our last name. I think it's, it's the final straw for Jamie. Get Jamie off the payroll. Beth's delighted. It's about time she can't stand Jamie. We're doing a little restructuring. You've been replaced as chief counsel. When Beth comes in and basically fires Jamie and, and is loving doing it, that's like, okay, I'm okay with this. Feel free. I think he does genuinely, like he says, feel free, but I think he's also doesn't know if that's a good thing. And also fear of his family. They're a scary group. You know, in comes Beth, and now she's my enemy. Oops. She's going to be his lawyer. This is going to be the conflict I'm going to have to truly face. So I, he may be feeling free, he's also feeling like he's stepped into the unknown. It's been an amazing journey. This is the world that I love right now. Old school meets new school. The best stories are that way. There's a freshness to this. The world we're showing is something that you don't see that often. Taylor put together one hell of a crew. This isn't green screen, you know, or this isn't any CGI. This is a real deal. The ranch is a character, the mountains in the background of every shot. You know, you can't do a show about the American West without being in the American West. I was like moving in a fast river of Taylor's world and all these brilliant actors and these wonderful crew, and everyone was just wanting to create brilliant work. It was like, let's go. That's how I felt. I'm most proud of him working on this show is being a part of this type of storytelling that is both artistic, also informed, and has a point of view that's very strong. And that's, that's Taylor, and getting to work with Taylor on this show. And it feels great. It feels like someone trusts you with something very important. I love working with the cast and the crew. They're really exceptional and wonderful people. And when you go through this whole journey together, it's been a good experience. I can't wait to see what Taylor has in store for season two.